I'm not quitting YouTube, but I quit one of the, like, my main habit of my fucking life, which is fucking video games. I've, I've actually n haven't touched a single fucking Steam game, any fucking type of game, at all. Like, at all. For the past few months. Like, for the past... I don't even remember when, actually, I last played a Steam game, you know, from Steam and all that shit. I don't fucking remember, actually. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but I remember just, like, I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna uninstall every single game. And it freed up, like, 200 gigabytes worth of fucking storage. Because that's something I, um, that got me thinking, you know? And I need to say this, like, I think a lot of people m have, like, this sentiment, too, you know? Uh, lingering in the mind, but they aren't really like the kind of a bit like of a pussy to actually you know kind of confirm it because they're basically eliminating like their main hobby that they had for their entire fucking life, you know. And most of the time, and mostly it's just like boys like me, you know, who have this, you know. For me at least, I, I just got bored of every single fucking game I've ever owned, and I realized, um that it was just a fucking waste of time it was a waste of time that I've actually had because even then right bef like before I did kind of like qu quit um I I fucking my 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 goals you know when starting a YouTube channel was basically like was I was dead ass trying to be one of those big fucking uh, gaming YouTube channels, but um, after looking at like the the view to sub ratio of the fucking big nigga YouTube gaming channels that I used to grew up with that were fucking insane, like really insane. I said fuck that. Oh, fuck that! I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do whatever, whatever I want, until something comes up, you know. And you know that nigga, Mr. Beast. You know he's like gonna be the biggest YouTuber in existence in like in a few months or probably to a year. He did this exact same shit. He quit doing fucking commentary, gaming shit, and all that stuff. Like, here's the thing, though. If I use gameplay in in like the background of a commentary video of my own uh... <clears throat> oh fuck it's not my fucking footage I need to say that right now it's not my footage I'm not saying this to gaslight you or or to, or to make up excuses and all that stuff I don't I have to fucking like reinstall it that would take a long time and I don't, it's like Nah, and most of the games are just fucking boring and suck the life out of me, you know, the usual thing. It's funny that uh, my main goal was was to make it my was to make it a big gaming YouTube channel. My my profile pic, I'm still having it like that. I'm still having it snooze more because that's fucking core. That's core to me. That's fucking core to me because it means complete. It means a lot more than just coming from the my my most favorite game of all time, which is fucking Mario Luigi Dream Team. It sounds fucking childish for even me to say that when I'm at this age. Uh, like, granted, Thermoxin exists, and he's kind of into the same shit that I am. But I don't know. I don't know if that's just my mind, my, my mindset. You know, fucking me up and all that stuff. So I'm sorry, Mouse Mellow. I can't play. Fucking Left 4 Dead 2. I'm sorry, everyone. I can't play all the games that you want me to play. Nor, nor do I want to. Though, I wouldn't want to overdramatic, fuck, overdramatize like this to be a new part of my life. You know, new chapter of my life. Like no more video games and all that stuff. Because eventually. Inevitably, I would have probably stopped playing it, inevitably, but, like, at a point where it would be probably too late to realize, like, fuck, I need to stop doing this, I can get my shit together, and doing it now, because, like, fuck this, and I know, I, like, Mr. Beast has, like, a gaming channel and all that shit, but it's, like, it's not his main content, you know, he only does that 
you know, for other different fucking channels, you know, Yaz on YouTube and all that stuff, you know. Hmm. I'm still leaving up all of, like the the gaming videos I have and all that stuff. I'm not a pussy like anybody else for uh, leaving a specific community and all that stuff. Whenever people, okay, this does kind of constitute as kind of like a announcement towards leaving the GD community. But most of the times when people do leave the GD community, they are kind of a, they are cunts. They are absolute fucking cunts about it. It's like, oh my god, like, the GD community was like the worst fucking thing. It's only bad if you make it bad in your mind. Because there's some good parts that happened with me and that, right? With the community and all that stuff. But I'm not going to be fucking gay as hell and say like, well, like fucking block everyone who's from it. I, those people who do that are the fucking worst. Don't ever, ever consider them human, all right? That's too harsh, actually. But just, those people are pussies, alright? P people are pussies, alright? And... And, like... Most of them just, just fuck it. Fuck up the way that they do it when they depart from it. Like, inevitably, the game will get shut... Well, probably get shut down. Or just... They will have some fucking catastrophic fucking shit happen to it. Inevitably. But, <laughs> I never really was good at the game. I try to be good at the game sometimes, but it's like, fuck this. I try to create sometimes at the game. Fuck that. I sometimes when I did create, like, all the way through, it's always some fucking Lemon Demon song. And I've always fucking gone along with it, you know? It's some bullshit like that, you know? And all the other games, Hoi 4... Fuck, it became boring, and also, it's becoming way too complicated for even me to go and learn and all that bullshit. There's railings in that shit. There's railings in that shit. That's like 10 times the fucking thing I have to construction repair. And, you know, all the bullshit that niggas can now strategically bomb. Like, there's so much bullshit in there. And, you know, the like, the stigma that people have, like, if you play Hoi 4, you're a fucking Nazi, and all that stuff. So I'm kind of glad I stopped playing that game. It became really boring after a while. Um, and I always had this kind of pit, like, void feeling that I was just wasting my fucking time in a very negative way whenever I did play these fucking games. Minecraft. 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 I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Hmm. Like, here's the thing, though. I never really understood it. I don't know. It's probably gonna be sounding like a dickhead right now. But I never understood the big old niggas. You know, big as in success. You know, all that stuff. I never really, you know... Understood those people and why they always fucking... Like, played those games like Factorio and all that other bullshit, you know. I never understood why. Why those specific games? Like, why? Fucking why? Notch plays that shit. You know, the nigga who made Minecraft and all that stuff. Bro. But if I ever end up like find myself back playing video games of with like a rejuvenated interest oh, fuck me man that's gonna i know people are gonna be like uh like when they find out like oh my god yeah fuck like weren't you supposed to quit video games and all that stuff like hmm that would be this this kind of like posting this video will um be some sort of a accountability type of thing that people will ha hold me accountable for and all that stuff and like I'm not saying that people who play video games are just like losers uh, well automatically <laughs> but it's just like <laughs> fuck man I feel a bit better after not doing that you know 
for a while, for a very long while and all that stuff. And I don't really dis I don't disagree with the spirit of the gamer because the gamer now represents the people. If you get what I'm saying. This is not some schizo bullshit. If you know what I'm talking about, like the gamer represents just the majority of people, the majority of men and boys right now on the internet and probably in society, alright? It sounds so fucking stupid, but it fucking makes sense. It makes sense because it, it's just, it's just that most, most men and boys do, do play video games, but some of them don't, and the, the ones who don't, some of them just kind of like scrutinize them in a very big way and all that stuff, you know their parents and all that stuff, fathers or their mothers and all that stuff, you know, the usual thing and well, I don't know if I will ever come back to video games, if I ever do um fuck, man <laughs> I, will, I will look like an idiot just, just posting this fucking YouTube video and all that stuff if I do and it becomes a part of my fucking success, I'm killing myself and my fucking channel, alright? <laughs> Let's get bored, man. Fuck, man. And I know more, more and more people are like sharing that sentiment though. Like they're getting bored of the games that they're playing, they're finding other interests, they're quitting, and all that stuff. You know the some shit like that. You know, I'm probably one of the other, uh, only other people, few people who are like willing to like post a video like this on YouTube and all that stuff. Um. <laughs> but I don't I will not scrutinize the, the spirit of the gamer alright there's a lot of things that people encapsulate in that type of sphere especially that I do and being in a lot of gaming actually not a lot it's just I've been in one mainly for the four, four, five or four years of my fucking life. Balls deep into it. So fucking weird, man. So weird. So weird. So weird, man. I want to know something funny. Like my sister got like an Xbox. I don't know fucking why. I don't know why. If I ever do come back to video games and all that stuff. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs>